right, good night folks. Uh, so I'm coming to you tonight with a, a little concern that I have. I feel kind of awkward doing this, but I think it's something that I need to share. Uh, because it seems as though it's a problem that many people are experiencing. And I believe that something needs to be done to correct it. You know, I in 2017 I bought a refrigerator from Quartz, Main Street. Uh, Frigidaire, a um, large refrigerator, and um, I paid a warranty on it and uh, brought it home and used it for just over a year and a half. And then it began developing a number of problems uh, the gasket first, then uh, all kinds of other things. Uh, they were, they, you call them, they sent their technicians eventually it got so bad that I decided to uh, put it in my vehicle and take it into them because I said man there is no sense your technicians coming here and every time they come whatever they're doing is really not making any difference to uh, the way the refrigerator was working uh, subsequently a few days after they called me and they said that while they were working on the refrigerator uh, that uh, some they pushed it in maybe the wrong voltage and it got damaged so I needed to get a replacement uh, that because of the warranty that I would be given uh, the choice of choosing another refrigerator from uh, what they had in the store that seems not a bad thing uh, but when you go to make that choice uh, you find that even the very refrigerator that you would have bought, that the price would have gone up. You have to pay that difference. And the warranty that you would have had on the old refrigerator, uh, they say that once that you've taken the new refrigerator, refrigerator that you have to uh, pay for another warranty, uh, that came up to um, roughly $35,000. So you find yourself paying stuff, uh, additional monies for these replacements. Now, the other thing is that initially when uh, these technicians visited your homes, uh, they would ask about the spoilage, what things you had in your refrigerator that might have gone bad and so on. Because there is insurance that is provided for that spoilage. Uh, these things now, they, they don't inform people of these anymore. And so when they give you the, uh, the, the diagnosis on what the technicians would have done, and you tell them, man, you had these things that were in the refrigerator that have spoiled, they tell you that, well, um, it's now too late to make any claims for them. So, I got the new uh, refrigerator of just after about a year and a half, 18 months or so on, and I began using that one. Uh, now the problem has begun again. The technician came uh, about two and a half weeks ago, really did no kind of check, just opened the refrigerator looked in and said that the gasket was bad. Uh, in fact, what is happening is that uh, the, the lower chamber where the refrigeration takes place, not the freezing compartment, uh, there was no cooling taking place there, so everything down there was at room temperature. And then you found that there is a receptacle at the back of the refrigerator where uh, there is an accumulation of uh, water that you normally have to bail from time to time. Now this water is no longer uh, going to that receptacle. And so when you get up in the mornings, you uh, find that the entire place is soaked from all the water that is leaking from the refrigerator and so on. He really didn't check any of the panels, he didn't unscrew anything, but he said that the gasket was bad and he would return the Monday after he came, he came the Friday, he said he would come back the Monday to repair it. 
he never came two weeks past my wife you've tried call you try calling them on the lines that they've provided you are not getting through eventually my wife um, called an extension and she left a very rude message and we received a call subsequently to say uh, that the refrigerator had numerous problems and that we needed to choose another now this is just five years that we're talking about um, for the use of three refrigerators um, and so I really uh, I'm so mad that I I went into them and I said man really doesn't make sense that every time these things go bad you have a department that is responsible for doing repairs to these things and every time you go to them and you have a problem they're telling you that they don't have the required parts uh, you turn up there you see people carrying back television sets radio um sound systems it seems as though it's a perpetual problem with courts that things that they sell go bad very quickly even while I was there last week another gentleman was there he said he bought a refrigerator only six months ago and it's not working you know I don't I really don't know I can't understand it because I bought a freezer about since 2007 I think and it was never ever um, looked at it's working perfectly never had a cause to have a check technician check it but now you're buying these things from courts and they're going bad within two years within a year and uh, within six months as in the case of this gentleman now i am given the choice now to uh, because i told them that i didn't want any more refrigerators from courts they said well i have the option um, they're not going to give you back your money you can go to the store and choose items to the cost, the $180,000 cost of the refrigerator. <clears throat> now, I don't know what to choose because the experience from going to the, the service department is that whatever electronics and whatever you buy, uh, that people are turning up with these things and then when you go to look for the refrigerators again, you will have you will see refrigerators that are uh, beyond the one the, the price that you would have paid for yours. So you have to pay that, then you have to pay another warranty. If I am to take uh, other items, it depends on how many items I take to get to that uh, one hundred and eighty thousand dollars. I may have to take warranty on three, four, or five different items, which will it's an additional cost. But I can't imagine, you know, that these implements are going down so quickly. And even though they are aware that these things are not functioning in the way that they should, they are not ensuring that the, the necessary parts to repair them are in place. It seems as though it's a, a scheme. You get a sense that it's a scheme. To have people pay more all the time so within five years I am dealing with three refrigerators and that 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 doesn't make sense so something needs to be be done uh, there ought to be um, kinds of standards with, with things that are people buy Frigidaire is supposed to be a, a, a brand that is 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 of quality but um, these things that we're buying are, are of no quality at all. Uh, I don't know what the standards are, whether they, they're, they, where they're buying them from, they're not um, put through the, the routine test to ensure that they, they can stand up or whether uh, this is part of a process of, of the manufacturers themselves getting into the business of, of making things that are substandard so that their turnover rate is, 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 is one that is high. But it's not fair to the consumer who have to be 
you know, constantly put through the stress of spoilage, of having to run to courts to get exchanges, of having to, to, to you know, pay for new warranties, having to pay more for another refrigerator, having to wait for them to bring it when they feel like and all of these things. So, I don't know whether the consumer um, association can look into these things, find out exactly what is happening into, at courts, and people who have similar experiences can begin, we can begin to raise some noise so that something is done to quell this, this, this fiasco that is taking place there. It's really not fair to us, and I think um, uh, we need to deal with it uh, in, in ways that are going to bring a stop to this. Uh, you shouldn't be having uh, replacements, three refrigerators in five years. And that's, that's outrageous. That's absolutely outrageous.